Hello and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation course on the iModel Composition Server for PDF. In this lesson, you will understand the requirements of object enablers for DWGs for use in the iModel Composition Server. An object enabler is a program that is required to interpret custom objects in a DWG file. If the object enabler is missing, some information in the DWG file might not display correctly. When plotting AutoCAD files with ICS for PDF, you must remember that MicroStation is the print engine. There might be subtle differences in the output, which will require you to review these files in MicroStation or Bentley View first before plotting. Remember, what you see is what you get. So if the file displays incorrectly in MicroStation or Bentley View, then it will not plot correctly either. During this lesson, you will learn how to determine if object enablers or DWGs are required. Object enablers improve DWG fidelity. In this exercise, you will determine if object enablers for DWGs are required. When you open a DWG file containing a custom object, and if that enabler is missing, an alert window appears. The window lists all the missing enablers, some of which may be detailed information, such as the provider, of the enabler and the website from which you may find and download the needed enabler. Note that an enabler is not required to open a DWG. When an enabler is missing, the file still opens and its custom objects become proxy objects. Once you've logged into your data source, let's expand the navigation tree and click Documents. We'll go into System Admin, Plotting. DWG troubleshooting. We can either right click and choose open or we can double click the M012S CPL DWG. And we'll review this file in MicroStation. And if you don't have MicroStation, you can use Bentley View or any of our platform products. We'll make sure to keep using the older AEC version of the objects in this DWG file. So select Open Read Only and keep as the old AEC version. Once MicroStation has finished loading the DWG, let's review the look and feel of the file. If we look closely at some of the objects, We can see that certain pieces of pumps or tanks and valves are not displaying properly within the DWG file. If we double click the message center, we can see that one or more object enablers are missing in this particular drawing. When you see objects like this, this is a telltale sign that object enablers are required for the correct fidelity of this particular file. Those object enablers must be installed on your iModel Composition Server. If your iModel Composition Server is on premise, feel free to install any object enabler you need. However, it is important to realize that that object enabler must also support MicroStation in order to be installed for use since MicroStation is the print engine and not AutoCAD. If that iModel Composition Server is in the cloud, you'll need to file an SR to have those particular object enablers installed on the server, and you can provide them in the SR ticket. So because it's so obvious that our graphics are not displaying correctly because of the missing object enablers, we'll use this opportunity to install the correct object enablers and review this file in MicroStation once again. So once you install your object enabler, let's open the file. Let's go ahead and exit MicroStation and we'll go ahead and check this file back into ProjectWise and now that the object enabler is installed on this server let's reopen this file in MicroStation so 
So now that we've opened the file in MicroStation for the second time, let's just zoom in here and review the same graphics. And we can notice a significant difference. Now we can see that the objects are displaying correctly thanks to having the object enabler installed on the server. This concludes the lesson on understanding the requirement of object enablers for DWGs. Let's review what's been learned. During this lesson, you've learned how to determine if object enablers for DWGs are required. The next video will provide techniques on creating a MicroStation managed workspace for AutoCAD files when printing with the iModel Composition Server. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.